Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my everyday makeup drawer for the month of March through April, and I try to do it in the middle of the month. I got a little bit behind this month, so let's look at the products that I have in there currently. Um, I am using this little sample of What Up Beaches as my contour and I'm almost done with it so I'm going to keep it in my drawer. I'm also going to keep my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in here and this is in the shade Soft Brown. I really do like this one. I'm also going to keep my very messy The Brow Gal powder brow colors. I really like these. I'm going to take this bronzer out, the Too Faced um, Sweetheart Bronzer in Sweet Tea. And I really did like this for bronzing up the skin. It gave me a really fresh, glowy look. So I'm going to take this out for now. I'm also going to take out my Laura Mercier Highlighter in 01 Highlight. I think that's what it is, yeah. And this gave such a natural finish to my skin, but I want to use some other ones. I'm also going to take out this NYX Finishing Powder in Banana. And this I just use under the eyes, and it gives a really, really nice lightening effect. I'm going to keep this Maybelline Dream BB Pure 8-in-1 Beauty Balm in the shade 110 Light Medium Sheer Tint in here. I didn't use this at all, so I'm going to keep it in there and get some use out of it. I'm going to take this Tarte bronzer out of here and this is in Park Avenue Princess and this is just like a deluxe size sample but I'm going to take that out for now. So this drawer is definitely going to need some love. I'm going to take out my Tarte color wheel in all these blushes. I got a lot of use out of this and I used every single color except for this one right here in Culture. That's the only one I didn't use because it's like a shimmery color and I like that more in the summer. But I am going to take this out for now. I'm going to leave my two setting sprays in there. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And this is the um, Wet n Wild Setting Spray. And I use this one to wet my brushes and this one for my face. I have two of these powder um, foundations in here. I'm going to keep the darker one. This is medium honey because my skin is tanned right now. So I'm going to keep this one in. And this one is in the shade light neutral. This is my lightest color that I have. And I'm going to take this one out because this one's too light for right now. I'm going to do the same thing with my Bare Minerals foundation. I have the shade 12 medium beige right here and 09 light beige right here. I'm going to take the lighter one out because my skin is tanned and I'm going to keep the darker one in. This one I used to set my face a couple times and it is the lighter color, um, 110 Creamy Natural. I'm going to put the darker one in here, I think. So I'm going to take this one out. Back here I just have my two sponges I've been working on. This is the e.l.f. sponge and this is the Real Technique sponge. It's extremely dirty. They both need to get washed. But I'm going to keep them both in here. Then moving on to this one, I'm going to take this NYX Born to Glow um, Illuminating Primer out because I'm using my other primers from my Project Pants. So I'm going to take this one out for now. I put in the Tarte Lifted Mascara. This is a little deluxe size sample because every time I go to the gym, I've been wearing this one instead of my other one. So I'm going to keep this one in. I'm also going to keep this CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara in there. I didn't use it many times, but it's almost gone. Then I'm going to keep my It Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara. This one's for my lower lashes. Love it. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I'm going to keep this in there. And to be completely honest, I didn't use this lip liner at all. I didn't use either one of these <laughs> um, eyeliners at all. I just don't use them very often, to be completely honest. I'm going to keep these in there just to see if I can use them. This is from Thrive Cosmetics, and this is a cruelty-free product, and I like to use this for my inner corner. I really do like this one. It gives such a nice inner corner color, so I'm going to keep this in there. Then moving over to this side, this is my Dandelion Blush 
Look at how much pan I have in there. Holy crap. I'm going to keep this in and try to keep using it up. Then I'm going to take this one out. This is my Urban Decay um, blush in the shade Kinky. I used this quite a few times. I really, really enjoyed this one. But I'm going to take it out for now and see if I can get something else to use in here. Then I have my Jouer highlighter in the shade Citrine. I loved this one. I used it a ton. And I'm going to put this back in my collection for now. Then I have some lip colors that I didn't use at all because I'm doing my lipstick roulette right now. So I think I'm... I don't know. Maybe I'll leave these in there for now and see if I can use them or use them, you know... Maybe I'll add them into my lipstick roulette. I'm not sure. But I'm going to keep those in there for right now. And the palette that I had in here was the Too Faced um, Chocolate Gold palette. And I'm going to keep that in my drawer. But I have it over there. <laughs> but I'm going to keep it over there so that I can keep using it. So let's go and shop my stash, I guess, for some new products. So this is my highlighter and my face powder drawer. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to put this one in there. This is my Butter Blush in the shade Natural Glow. I really like to have a natural um, highlighter in there. And this one's a perfect natural highlighter for me. So I'm going to put this one in. And I also want to try out this Milani one a little bit more. This is the Milani in 02 Day Glow, and this is the Strobe Light Highlighters. And it's so beautiful. I've only used it a couple times, but I think I'm going to put both of these in there for my highlighters for this month. Um, then I need a face powder. I'm going to put this very dirty CoverGirl face powder in. This is in the shade 115 Classic Beige. And this is just a little bit darker for a setting powder for me because my skin is a bit tanner. So I'm going to put this one in and I'm also going to put in this Ulta Pressed Powder in the shade Banana. And I always need one of these for my under eye, so I'm going to switch that NYX one with this one. This one's definitely more yellow toned, but that'll be fine with my eyes. And I've also been loving this Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder for under my eyes. So I'm going to put this one in there as well. It's like a very like dry powder. I don't know, I didn't like it at first, but now that I've only been using it under my eyes, I've really been enjoying it. So I think I'm going to put this one in there as well. So... These are the three face powders I'm going to put in along with the ones that I already have in there. So this is my blush and bronzer drawer. As you guys know, I do have some stuff in my project pans that I am working on right now, but I want to add in some other goodies in there. So I think I want to add in this In Stain blush by The Balm. And this is in the shade Tool right here. Sorry, I couldn't find it. Tool. So it's like a very red toned blush. It's like super dark, but I think this will be good for my skin tone right now. So I'm going to put this one in. And then I also want to put in Dallas. Here it is. So this is the other one I want to put in is Dallas by Benefit. And this is a natural tone blush. So I have... This one for my darker red toned. I have this one for my natural toned. And then I have the dandelion blush in my drawer already for my pink tone. So I have all my different tones covered, but I love this Dallas blush. Some people can use it as a bronzer, but it's um, too orange toned for a bronzer for me. But I really, really like it. And then I need to pick out a bronzer. So since I know that that contour powder is going to be out soon... I'm going to put in my Makeup Forever Pro, Bron Pro, Bron Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer in the shade 20M. And I really, really love this one for a bronzer or a contour. So I'm going to put this one in. I love this one. And then I think I'm going to put this one in as my slightly glowy bronzer. This is the Betty Luminizer by The Balm. And I haven't used this one yet on my face, so I'm going to try this one as my glowy bronzer. And then I do have a bronzer in my project pan right now that I'm trying to use. So I think I'm going to just 
I think I'm just gonna stick with these two for my bronzers. Okay, you guys, so I did open up my palette drawer right here. I am going to leave this because I am doing palette reviews right now. I'm gonna have one up on Monday, hopefully. And yeah, so I'm gonna go through my whole palette collection and give you um, reviews on everything. So I'm gonna close that up for now. And then I have my uh, foundations and primers in here and setting sprays. So I have a setting spray in my drawer already and in my um, project pans. So I don't think I'm going to pull anything in here at all because I want to use up those ones first. And I have an Essence brand review I'm doing here soon. So I'm using kind of some of those stuff from Essence. So I think I'm going to leave this drawer for right now. I do want to pull this one in though. The Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water because I want to prep my skin with this. So I'm going to pull this Mario Badesco in. That's the only thing though. Okay, so here I have some face palettes, some highlight palettes and stuff. And I also have some ColourPop colors. I'm not going to pull any specific ones in, but I just kind of wanted to show you how I have them right now. And I pretty much know exactly which color I want when I'm looking for one. So they're all in here and back there and a few in here as well so i pretty much know the colors that i want the day that i'm wearing it so i'm not going to pull any specific shades in but they're all right here okay guys so this is what my new drawer looks like i kind of explain things as i put them in there so that is my new everyday makeup drawer and then i will show you my other drawer right now okay guys so this is my other drawer and i just wanted to show you these are some project pan items that i'm trying to pan right now these are some just like everyday items that i use some little primers some face eye creams my color pop color for my inner corner, my eyelash curlers, stuff like that. Everyday things that I'm trying to use up right here. A couple of nail polishes that are in project pans. These are all of my essence brand items as of right now. I have another order coming in, but I plan on doing a full essence review here very soon. I have a maracuja oil here. A couple things in the back. I have some facial wipes here for wiping off swatches. And this is a bin, I know you can't really see it, but that's a bin of all my masks. So yeah, this is just like my everyday other drawer that I have here and products that I'm trying out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my everyday makeup drawer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, let me know what you think and what items, if you saw a specific item in my drawer that you'd like me to add in for next month, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.